producers. In this video, five somewhat hidden features in Loop Cloud you need to know about. Number one, playlist of Loop Cloud sessions right in the app. Two, add custom images to imported folders for art. Three, exclude certain tags from search results. Four, save search results. And five, custom shortcuts. It's all coming up, so let's get into it. All right, producers, first up is the Loop Cloud Sessions playlist right in the app. This is one of those things that if you're already doing it, you're like, duh. And if you aren't, you're like, how did I not know about this sooner? I just found out about it and I've been using Loop Cloud since its first version. So let me show you what it is. If I come into my library here, I've got a Loop Cloud Sessions folder. Now, if you don't have that, it's because you've never saved a Loop Cloud Session. As soon as you save one, it should automatically create that folder in a default location for you. It, don't worry if it doesn't, you can add any folder and just call it Loop Cloud Sessions anywhere, external hard drive, wherever you want, and it will show up and do the same exact thing. But what you can see here is I've got Loop Cloud Sessions. They're actually format labeled Loop Cloud Sessions and I could just double click and load one. It's that simple. This is real time. Stand up. Boom. And then you can go in and you can title things with other tags and change whatever you want and customize, but it will automatically import them. But I come in and I just change the genre, add a key, and I'm good to go. And it actually goes a bit further. So if I wanted to, I'm in my Loop Cloud Sessions in the Documents folder, that's the default location. What I can do is add some subfolders here and then just organize real quick. And if I jump back into Loop Cloud, you look down on the bottom left, you'll see that it's analyzing stuff. And if we look in my Loop Cloud Sessions folder, nothing's changed. But if I come over here on the far left, I can actually drill down. If I just wanna look at the winners or things that I think I should be working on next, just click on it and it'll filter right to those and I'm good to go. And the next feature is just adding custom artwork to any of the folders you've imported from anywhere on your system. So again, if I come out of Loop Cloud, I've got this PNG. It's gonna be a square. If it's not square, uh, um, aspect ratio, it's gonna squish. If I just drag and drop that into my Loop Cloud Sessions folder, and this will work with anyone, not just the Sessions folder, but any loops that you've imported on your own, and jump back into Loop Cloud. Once again, after it's analyzed, you'll see that that artwork has been added to the parent folder and all of the subfolders. But you can actually go in on a subfolder basis and add custom artwork that way. So let me show you what that looks like. Again, if I just take that one and put it in the winners, and then jump back into Loop Cloud after it analyzes, we will see that it's removed from all of the other folders except for the winners folder. So you can actually go in and make, you know, for this, I could have four different pieces of artwork for each one of the, the parent folder and then those subfolders. I hope that makes sense. The next feature is excluding tags from search results. And this is super cool. So I'm gonna jump into the search bar here and I'm gonna type in percussion. I'm just gonna click that percussion tag and I'm gonna get a ton of percussion search results. But let's say for whatever reason, I don't want any clap anywhere in my music. I think claps are played out, right? What I can do now is come in and right click clap and exclude clap from search. And you'll see up here in the title bar or the search bar that the clap tag is there, but it's been removed from the search. And if we look at any of these instruments over here, we'll see that clap is nowhere to be found, which means all of our search results should not have a clap in it. And of course you can do that for anything, not just claps. And that actually leads me a segue, perfect segue into the fourth tip, which is you can save search results. So let me give you a hypothetical. Let's say that I'm always looking for the newest vocals. I'm gonna come back into the search over here and I'm gonna type in vocal or just click vocal uh, very quickly. And as of the newest version of Loop Cloud, I have the release date filter slider here. I'm just gonna move it all the way over to the most recent, which means it's only gonna show me more recent search results. And as time progresses, I don't have to change this. It's always just gonna show me the most recent stuff. I'm always looking for the most recent stuff. And let's say I'm not looking for ad libs, so I can exclude that. I'm also not looking for, let's see what else, effects exclude and I, let's just stop there now you can do however much you want here but for me i'm just looking for new vocals uh that aren't effects or vocal chops or whatever and i've got my search result here what i can do is click the magnifying glass or the search glass over here on the top left and just save current search result now if i get rid of this tab and come into search again i can come into recent searches and just look for 
that. And every time I do that, essentially every time I open Loop Cloud, I'm gonna wanna see what the new vocals are. I can just research for those and it will show me all the newest vocals. And you can also recall them inside of your library by using the filter glass again, it will be over here. So it's just a couple of different places you'll have to look to get them, but the saved search results are available anywhere. If you wanna remove some of your saved search results, coming back into the main search tab right here on recent and then just X it out and it will be gone from memory. And that brings me to my final and last hidden feature. It's not really hidden, but it's something you might be able to use to make your Loop Cloud experience more powerful and easy. And that is custom shortcuts. So if I come over here to file, preferences, and then keyboard shortcuts. And for me, I use Premiere Pro a lot for video editing, and the C would be the cut tool, and then the V goes back to the pointer tool. So I'm gonna add those as custom shortcuts here in Loop Cloud, just so my muscle memory is gonna let me get to those tools quicker. If I come way down, all of this stuff can be assigned to shortcuts, by the way. If I come to the editor, and come to the split tool, that's essentially what the cut is. I'm gonna hit plus and then hit C on my keyboard and hit okay. And then the drag tool, which is the pointer tool, just the normal tool, I'm gonna hit plus again and hit V here and hit okay. Now by default, all of those are alt plus one. And you'll see here that it actually saves that original. And of course, if I wanna reset, I can, but you can actually have two at, at any given time. So right now, alt plus one will give me my pointer and just V will give me my pointer as well. So if I close out of here and come into my project and hit C on my keyboard, I can now make my cuts. And then when I'm ready to go back to my pointer, I just hit V and you'll see that updating here as well. And you can do that for whatever you want. All that huge list of different parameters is all available to add a shortcut for it. So just, it's really gonna help you out. It might be a little weird to get started, but once you have it locked in, it's gonna speed up your workflow. And that's all we're about here at Loop Cloud. It's helping you make music faster, better, stronger. All right, so there you go. Those are the five somewhat hidden features in Loop Cloud. I'm Joshua Casper. Let me know in the comments if you like this type of video, or if there's something else you wanna know how to do or how to do better with Loop Cloud, because I'm gonna be here a lot more on the channel in the upcoming year. So I wanna know what you want me to teach you. Anyway, as usual, I'm Joshua Casper, and I'll see you in the next video.